Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Enter the Gungeon for the PS4. The game is also available for the Xbox, Microsoft Windows and the Nintendo Switch. Enter the Gungeon is a retro style twin stick shooter developed by Dodge Roll. The game takes place in Gungeon, a shape-shifting dungeon on a planet inhabited by living bullets. The game can be played solo or via couch co-op. So what is the game like to play? Well, as I said, it's a twin stick shooter and control wise, the game is simple to pick up and play. You've got various guns to use depending on which character you choose. As you progress, you'll notice huge amounts of massive bullets to avoid, but thankfully you can roll, which makes you impervious to damage during the roll process. Tables can be flipped to provide short term cover and the reload function, I have to say, is a massive mistake in this type of game. Top down twin stick shooters from my experience are fast paced and fun games that do away with that tedious reality of having to reload a weapon. And it is a gameplay choice that for me definitely diminished the overall experience. In terms of level design, it's procedural, which is good and bad. Good because it always feels a little bit different, bad because it's not that different and it is quite samey from level to level with lacking any real, anything that will really stand out in terms of its level design. The basic gameplay loop is entering a room, clear the enemies, gather the loot, then head into the next room. You'll encounter traps, treasure chests, boss fights and stores where you can purchase supplies. The best feature in the game is the gun variety. It's actually incredible how many different variations you're going to find and apparently there are over 300 different guns in the game. Each gun has a different strength and weakness so it definitely adds good replay value. The game also features a huge range of end of level bosses with some being an absolute nightmare to defeat. You'll be desperately running away from what seems like endless bullets. But it's these battles that really provide some of the finer moments in the game. But if you want to get the most out of Enter the Gungeon, you have to play it in Couch Co-op, which is so much fun. It's a vastly improved experience to the quite tedious solo version. Graphically, it has a colorful art style and some nice variety in terms of its locations and character design. Soundwise, the game doesn't veer too far from the stereotypical music and effects you'd expect from a retro twin stick shooter. The sound isn't bad, but I feel like they could have done a little bit better with it. Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? The gun variety is amazing, couch co-op is so much fun, and it's got lots of cool fights with bosses. What's bad? The solo gameplay does get tedious very quickly, the procedural level design is not the best, and it lacks that little bit of magic to make it stand out from the bloated twin stick shooter crowd. So what's the verdict? Enter the Gungeon is a solid twin stick shooter best played with a friend. Solo, it's okay, but as I said, playing with another person is so much better. The weapon variety and the boss fights are the standout moments, but sadly the general level design left a little bit to be desired. Still, it's pretty entertaining once you get into it, but it's not one of those premier twin stick shooters. But I would say it's still absolutely worth a go. So my score for Enter the Gungeon is 7 out of 10. Okay, that's the review. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you.